Hi everyone, I just wanted to do a short video on one of my scorpion species. This is a Isometroids Vescus and the common name is a spider hunting scorpion. Uh, this one here is a girl. The girls have got a thicker body than what the males do. They're a bit more slender. Uh, as the common name suggests, they do actually prey on spiders. Uh, this girl right now is finishing off a meal of a common house spider. I have just uploaded a video onto YouTube of her uh, catching it and half of her uh, eating it. Uh, it's taken some time so <laughs> couldn't capture all of it. These guys are opportunistic foragers and they often live in um, disused spider burrows such as trapdoor spiders and wolf spiders. They uh, range in size from 25 to 65 millimeters so they're a small to medium sized species of scorp. They're from the Bithid family. Um, these guys are uh, fairly suitable for captivity. What I basically do is I've got set up in a like, critter keeper and I've got the air holes um, covered and sphagnum moss is on one side so I'll wet the sphagnum moss but leave the other side dry so it's just bark, cocoa peat and sand they do readily take crickets and um, woodies, mealworms, that sort of thing when you have them in captivity but um, I do tend to try to feed them spiders if I can find them around the house etc uh, these guys are commonly known for infestation of mites because the mites live around their mouthpieces which is really hard to get rid of and as long as they're not inundated with mites then it's not too much of an issue but it is something you definitely need to keep your eye on there always is a few um, running around within their enclosure so they are an interesting interesting species. I'll just pop this for a sec. Ruler. Poor girl's trying to eat but just so you can see how big she is. So she's only a few centimeters. Yeah they are a different kind of a scorp to keep. They've got a beautiful orange tinge throughout their body. And they aren't too common either, so it makes them a highlight to keep. Okay, thanks for watching. If you've got any questions or comments, please type them down below and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you.